Hello, um, this is Brandon again with Heavenly Run Ministry. Um, I was doing a video to thank the person who sent us a check. We went to our mailbox and we got, we, we arrived and um, uh, we went in and checked our PO box and there was a check in there. And I just want to thank them for the amount that they sent us. Um, it will be really useful and it will be really, really come in handy right now. Um, we have 30 miles left on our gas tank, a little over 30 miles. Um, the only thing is that the check won't go through until tomorrow. So, um, we know it's coming though. And there's a gentleman who's been trying to bless us that I met at a truck stop. And, um, uh, he's been having a hard time trying to send the money, the, um, uh, the apps. He's apparently from Canada and, um, uh, the apps that we normally use, he can't, he doesn't use or something can't with, use. or can't use. And the um, uh, the bank that he's been trying to go through, every time he arrives, they've been closed. So um, we're just waiting for her, that to come through. Um, we're just praying. We're thanking him. And we just praise every second that he's given us. And so I just want to th reach out and thank all those who have helped us and who have given us um, money along the way. It's been a lot of people. I mean, I have a map that showed us uh, all over the United States, that shows us all over the United States. I can post that. And we can post, my wife said she can post that. Um, and so I just want to thank everybody, everybody who has ever blessed us with finances, whoever, and thank you guys for just praying for us. Praying is just as much as helping out with blessing. Um, it helps. Um, Prayer is a weapon that the, that the Lord has given us to use against the enemy um, if used correctly. And so I thank you all for praying for us and to keep us motivating. I keep us motivated to keep going because there are times where we do get down. And um, my last video, one of the gentlemen I was talking to said it looked, I looked down. And I was, but when I got back at, into the car, um, there was just something different about me. And um, I was walking down to the rest stop area to use the bathroom and all of a sudden this joy came over me and I just start singing and I just start yelling, yes, the Lord's coming through. He's giving us the finances we need and all the promises he's, he said he's going to fulfill. And I've been just, I was just yelling. I got down to where the restroom area was and there was a gentleman around the corner who looked at me strange. Um, I used the bathroom, came back out and started doing the same thing and I got to the car and uh, my wife was on, with, on, on the phone with a couple friend of, friend, friends of ours asking us how we were doing and I just couldn't stop laughing and I just told them that we're, we may be down but we're full of joy and so I just want to <laughs> um, the Lord is so joyful the Lord is, fills my soul with joy I understand now what um, Paul was talking about in Philippians 4.11, where it says about um, he, um, he knows what it is to be without and he knows how to, what it is to be with plenty. And he's learning and he learned how to have joy in every moment. And I'm starting to learn how to have joy even when things look down and things look out. Um, the Lord is my stronghold and I'm going to stand strong on that and I'm going to hold and I know he's coming through. Even when things don't look right, even though things um, are look like they're falling apart, I know he has a plan behind it, and I know he's coming through. And I just want to encourage everybody who is struggling and who is um, having an issue that um, the Lord is our our the Lord is our strength, and he will come through. Can you get up, open a book? Our I need. I want the uh, I want to use a scripture. I want to read a scripture to you in James, and so I was asking my wife if she could open it up so that I could read the scripture to you, um, because it really helped me as well. I was, um, like I said, I was down for a while, and then I was asking the Lord. Um, here, I'll read it both ways. I have an NIV version, and I have uh, the uh, sorry the King New King James version, and the um, uh, Passion Translation. The the um, uh, the New King James version says this. 
um, my brethren, count all to it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Be but let patience be its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. The Passion Translation says this. My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an invulnerable invulnerable uh, opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up in you the power of endurance. And then as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. So I want to encourage all you who are experiencing hardship just to think about that verse. There's that, that scripture right there. There's two verses. That even in the hard times, it empowers us for endurance and it stirs up our faith and it does it until we are perfect in him. And so... It helped me as I was reading that and I was asking the Lord why I've been going through all this stuff. And so um, with that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks all who have blessed us with prayers and with financial gifting and with with allowing us to stay at their house, allowing us to take a shower, feeding us a meal. Um, we appreciate it all. Uh, all of us do. All six of us. Um, there's my wife again. There's my kids in the back, and there's some dogs. Um, and so I just want to end it with saying God bless, and Jesus loves you.